hello family and here we go again for the night last video for the night because i'm telling you that real housewives of atlanta season 12 episode 18 a greek tragedy in six acts girl i'm telling you full of bull full of poor unadulterated bullshit okay but i'm just gonna get into couple of few things and then we're just gonna let it go we're gonna let it lie like a rug because i'm telling you can you need to be gone nene need to be gone cynthia know the hell she need to be gone i don't know i keep saying recast and recasting because it's the same old stuff to where you can almost just replicate what's going to happen it's just that way you know cynthia is going to act stupid all the time and i'm like you know, I get the whole scene where people come out and say, oh, no, they're just on a show. It's scripted. You know, they just go in and do this, that, and that, but they're not like that. No, nah, hey, I look up reality. Then put the TV with it and see what you get. So when these people actually come on our TV screens, they're supposed to be actually giving us 98% of their life in real time. Or however it's being filmed. And then if they want to embellish just a little bit. Then you throw a little sprinkle of embellishment in there. But 98 to 99 percent supposed to be how these people really get down. And the shit that Candy and Kenya was cooking up tonight for tonight's episode was just piss poor production that's all i gotta say candy need to go somewhere else to get her, her spin off let her fly i'm tired of seeing her i'm like we want phaedra back we gotta constantly sit there and look at candy do her shit put a rock or a boulder out there and then try to hide it like she ain't did shit she need her ass whooped by phaedra parks and i mean not touched but verbally whooped okay and only Phaedra can give it to her. Only Phaedra can deal, deal it out to her. Okay, with a little salt and shake of pepper uh, assistance from Portia Williams. Okay, because today, today's episode, it really showed me that Ken ain't forgiving Portia for shit. Okay, she's still being messy, underhanded, playing nice, nasty. And she ain't, she ain't got nothing for Portia that's good. She ain't got nothing for Portia that's good. But Portia may act dumb some of the time, but she don't act dumb when it counts, okay? She smells a rat, and she's looking right at her rat, which is candy, and she giving her everything she give back to her. And I'm here for it. Yes, I am. Now, I can say one thing I did like about candy tonight, and the only thing is when she took up for Cynthia. Because I don't know how thick in the head or how dense her <sighs> stupidity goes on how she views how Nene treats her and how Kenya treats her is beyond me. Beyond me. And I know I know y'all saying, well, you know, Nene treated her bad. Well, honey, I don't think Nene ever treated her as bad as what I see Kenya Moore does to Cynthia. Okay, Cynthia. Cynthia was being tore down, and she didn't even know she was being tore down from the blow up. Okay, down to her drawers, down to her kneecaps, down to her toes, okay. That is what Kenya Moore was serving. So much disrespect, so much disloyalty to Cynthia on this episode, to Portia, whom she really don't talk too much to. And Tanya, who she really don't talk too much to. But they had her back. They had her like four flat tires. But Kenya Moore is the one supposed to be riding for Cynthia. But every time it counts, she's always still playing dirty. And then want to try to buy her way back into Cynthia's life. And then says Cynthia, go on and take it. I don't care what Kenya Moore is going through. Okay. It still does not supposed to ricochet, hit you in the back of the head and make you fall out on the floor. Okay, Cynthia. It's just too much. It's too much. But those are like little pieces I had to talk about before I really get into the scenes. Because it just really disturbed me. It really did. 
How Kenya was just trying to make an ass out of Cynthia. Like she got to be in every scene showing her ass being filmed. If the if the camera's not on her and it's taking too much time with somebody else, another cast member, Kenya got to do something to put the shit back on her. Now I'm just saying, Cynthia, don't you feel dumb for rooting? For getting Kenya Moore back on the show. Don't you feel dumb. Okay. Because if it wasn't for Kenya taking up for you. Asking Kenya how many wine cellars do she have. Before she could sit there and throw salt on your one little wine cellar. And she was like matter of factly at it. And that's all that I can give Candy as a hoorah. Because the rest of the time she was just shitty. Fake foolery, fuckery and fraudulent. And giving me nothing but vomit in my mouth that I just want to throw up on her because she was just doing too much too much okay but let's go on and get into this first scene well first of all hey family hey I've been talking to y'all at least three times a day I'm sure and I'm hoping y'all had a wonderful day even though y'all probably have been stuck in the house here and there uh because of this coronavirus okay and it seems like it just keep getting thicker and thicker and thicker in the mix taking false lives putting people in the hospital i don't know what to say but i'm gonna pray for each and every one of my family members over here in this youtube sector okay and the family of fam gonna keep praying for y'all that y'all don't catch it. and if y'all catch it y'all get healed real quick fast in a hurry because it's just too much and then i have to sit up there and look at sitcom shows like this oh okay oh it wasn't giving me everything tonight it was just making me tense up and want to go through my screen and hit kenya in the head okay Yes, it made me want to do bodily harm to her because she was just fucking up, getting on my nerve, sitting there messing with Cynthia. The way she was messing with Cynthia, I didn't like that. I didn't like that film at all. But anyway, okay, I said my hellos to you all, hugs and kisses all the way around the room. Okay, but getting back into the first scene, we got Portia. She's playing with PJ. Just adorable, just adorable. Then we got Cynthia and Tanya. They go out to see and visit with Nene, seeing how she's doing, how she's coming along from last, you know, scenes and stuff. Uh, from last episode, we got Candy and Kenya. They talking out in a little villa, taking selfies and this, that, and the third. And Candy talking to her, meaning Kenya, about Nene and um, why she didn't do uh why she didn't play better in the um in the play field in the playground why she didn't do better in the play yard with nene when nene was trying to comfort her and do all these different things and came but i just didn't want to fool with her i, I you know just kids just making up excuses Kenya said i don't have time for the bullshit okay okay get it got it good you should have told nene straight out you ain't got time for the bullshit you ain't got time for her to give you no advice about your marriage just put it out on the plate and just let it be done and then y'all could have just been arguing the rest of the whole trip it would have been no fake fraudulent shit going on you would have told her how you stood and that was it nene either had to come back with combat or she just had to accept it and just leave you fuck alone that's pretty much it but y'all didn't do it like that y'all didn't play it like that just deal with it deal so then we got Tanya, you got nene you got cynthia they're in the ocean taking pictures. Cynthia acting like an old woman, like she can't get up. But when she got Mike around, oh, she can't barely uh, stop dropping it like it's hot. Because we know Cynthia can't dance. She ain't got no rhythm to her. Whew, it just is what it is, okay? But anyway, we leave that situation. Candy has called herself booking a restaurant that's like high in the sky. Uh, they just take you up on like a little plank, or whatever, and lift you up slowly in the sky, and you just eat up there in the sky and stuff. And then you can look at all the old relics or buildings that were there back in old and Greek, uh, creation time and whatnot. Give me a little history, lady. Give me a little history while she's serving you dinner or lunch or whatever here they eating up on there. And it's pretty much um, they uh. Didn't tell Nene because, you know, Nene is scared of heights. And see, that's why I said people like to fuck with the OGs and shit. When they tell you they don't like certain things and they mean they don't like certain things, don't go up there trying to make them be a part of these things, okay? That's what I'm saying. Why are you trying to make them be accountable and be a part of these things? That's all I got to say. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't have them doing all that. That's just too much. Too, 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 too much, okay? respect what they don't like you to do or they don't like to do and just carry on build the shit around them because they old they season and they don't want to be disturbed in that you know retrospect 
So what she do? Candy, her devilish mind, go conspire with Kenya saying, oh, we're going to take Nene up on this high lift place. You know, she didn't like it. When she didn't want to come hang with us when we were hanging outside the building. Hell, when you get 50 some years old too, you, you start looking at stuff a little different too, Candy. But you ain't got there yet. You don't understand what we're talking about when we don't do certain things that we used to do. No, nah, we don't try uh, to risk our lives because our lives is already at a risk when we hit 50 some. Okay? Stroke, heart attack, whatever. All that we looking at. Okay? But you, you're not there yet. So, you you know, you, you, you throwing caution to the wind. But we don't throw caution to the wind at our ages, okay? We take everything as privilege, okay? Like, damn, I'm glad I'm here this morning. I could have been belly up, pushing up daisies. But the Lord saw fit to raise me up again. Okay, let me shoot, shoot flip my way on down this hall. You know what I'm saying? Oh, she don't know. She might need to talk with her mom. And then her mom and her aunts can give her a good lesson in. Don't disrespect the old people. The old C's and G's. Don't do that. Respect what they can and cannot do. And keep it moving. Okay? But that was her little devilish move she was making. Then tell Nene they were going to be taking a flight. Okay? Up in the air. And they was going to eat. Knowing Nene had a problem with that. But see, that's how Candy get down. She ain't nothing but a damn devil. Okay? Moving on from there. We got uh, Candace talking about... Her surrogacy and, you know, on the road to this uh, restaurant they're supposed to be going to and this, that, and the third. That's 100 feet up in the air. And then somehow they got to talking about, uh, you know, what people like in men and, and this, that, and third. What all of them were pretty much looking at uh, as far as a mate. Then we got Portia. She's trying to tell Cynthia. Kenya is shading her about the wine because as they were up there in the air, Kenya was pretty much asking Cynthia what kind of wine goes with certain kind of food, certain kind of meats, this, that, and the third. And um, what's her name? Uh, Kenya was trying to tell us she was more of a connoisseur of the fine things of wine and knowing everything. And Cynthia was just a amateur. and She didn't know no better. She owned something or she's bought out into something and she don't know what the hell she doing. So she was trying to play nice nasty up there. And then um, Candy kind of got Candy straight because she got she got tired of Kenya coming up with some shit talking about wine and food and she was just trying to eat, which we know Candy like to eat and that's just it. Okay, she don't want to be disturbed with no fake foods, fraudulent shit that Candy was trying to throw out. And she was saying, "Well, damn, how many wine bells, uh, how many cellars do you own? How many Kenya more wine cellars do you own, boo?" And then Kenya got quiet and she knows that Candy had caught on to what she was really trying to do. So, and, you know, of course, since you're looking up there like a, a deer in headlights, just, I'm just about to say, damn, oh, we need a recast, because I can't believe Cynthia's playing so dense and so dumb to get a check. It's just, it, it, it's just morally not right, you know, I'm like, damn, step your pussy up, girl, be some mature in something you own, no, have some knowledge or background of what you're doing out there when you're saying you have this business, that business, do you know anything about what you're producing for the consumer to take part in, uh, but anyway, moving on for now, Ah. Uh, but, you know, in uh, past, in hindsight, Cynthia f still felt that Kenya wasn't trying to shade her. Okay, until really Portia and Tanya had to really drill it into her head that, yes, she was. She tried to throw salt on your name, okay? But then we got, um, I was trying to figure out who uh, Kenya was fussing at. I didn't know if she was, they were taking selfies when they was walking around some Greek relics and stuff for this third. And, uh, and Kenya was fussing at somebody. I said, I know she ain't fussing at Portia. Because she said, you're not supposed to touch anything. You're supposed to leave that alone. There's no touching the relics. I'm like, but well, damn, you're supposed to be the uh, host? Are you supposed to be the trip advisor that's out there telling people uh, history on the relics? Can you shut your mouth up and go on about your bed? Oh, you got on my nerve. I'm like, oh, baby, Brooklyn. Who can take care of her? Because I don't think Kay is a good mother anymore. I really don't. I mean, I'm, if, if she's going to keep acting the way she acting. This is Kenya Moore. I'm sorry. What she's giving us on this platform, she's giving it to people in real life. Y'all just might not see it. I might not see it. But, girl, no. I'm like, where's Brooklyn Grandmama? Where, where's Marfo? Somebody to help Brooklyn be raised because I don't trust Kenya no more. I really don't. But, anyway, move from that and my antics. Uh, we, it brings us to the part where we're smashing plates. The smashing of the plates in the Greek uh, 
history is when you love something passionate and you really love it, you smash a plate to bring it into fruition or something like that. Like Kenya Express, she loves Brooklyn, so she broke a plate. Somebody said they love love and they broke a plate. You know, it tells your what you're passionate about and what you really love. So you need to splat uh smash a plate on the floor it takes away the evil spirits and this that and third i'm like okay all the hocus pocus in the world seems like you still just messing up good place okay but it is yes whatever i mean it's a good stressful evil a reliever but uh you know i don't get with all this you know this that and the third you know how they say uh what do you call it old sayings or um damn i can't think of the word Oh, I might think about it, but the video will be over with. But it's just, you know, how they said don't uh, step on a crack, you break them on the bag, or don't uh, go behind a ladder, go in the middle of it. Something like that. Old saints, but I can't give the word. Superstition. There we go. Uh, you know, getting into all the superstitions, all what these people believe, old things that people say, this, that, and third. Take it with a grain of salt. So they out shopping this, that, and third, and Candy goes up to look at some magnetic stuff, and she says she always. Uh, wherever she goes, she buys a magnet. I'm said, damn, your refrigerator gonna be lit up with all these different places you're going. Okay, okay, baby. Okay, you're a hoarder. But anyway, going on about that, uh, we got Ken. She's still picking at Cynthia about the wine, you know, throwing her little digs and this, that, and the third. And nobody really was appreciating it. Everybody thought she was tasteless for doing that, whether she was poking fun. But as I was saying, Ken, the fun that you kind of do is not the kind of fun that people want. The kind of fun that you try to do when you're saying you picking at people, this, that, and third, will get your ass kicked. You know what I'm saying? I'm really ready for somebody to kick your ass. I'm just really ready for it. Come time of you i'm just sick i'm like you know i ain't i don't condone violence i don't condone people spitting on each other tackling each other putting hands up but you know somebody need to get you tie you down and put you in front of a therapist and don't let you out until you admit some of your fault your flaws and your faults okay and stop looking for pity all right somebody to pity you or, or somebody to apologize for you but you need you take no accountants for yourself that's what i need to happen to you okay but anyway moving on okay my sidebar don't get into it if you don't if you don't get into it don't get into it all right um then we got what's her name tanya and uh portia they out by you know the evil eye uh bracelets and this that and the third mobile mo uh we call it memorabilia and they end up buying uh, Cynthia one because they want to keep Kenya away from uh, the negative energy that she's definitely throwing Cynthia's way. Okay. And then so uh, they're in their little confessionals when they're doing the taping or whatnot. And the producer asked Kenya a question about why is it uh she riding Cynthia so hard about her wine and, and she's trying to poke fun at her that she don't know this that and the third but then when tanya wants to poke fun at her when it comes to her wig and she's supposed to be uh wearing her rear hair but it comes out to find that kenya wears extensions at this that third how the kid got so mad at that producer i said god damn thank you producer get in her ass break her ass hole dry okay let her feel the pain because Kenya was very upset and frustrated when that producer asked her that question. I was like, okay, girl, you bleed. I see you do bleed, but it took somebody that ain't even in the scenario questioning you about your antics or why you did what you did to Cynthia. But that's not the same thing. If I'm going to be bombarded with these type of questions, then I'll just leave. And I want to say, get the fuck up and leave, girl. Leave. Leave your tags, your uh, credentials, leave all of it and go away permanently just go away kenya go away girl Woo! and the producer probably saying the same thing Woo, honey you are too much you are too much you're an asshole i wish you can go and i don't have to see the likes of you anymore but can you know she need that money honey it's the only reason why she on that show and will remain on that show until they throw her out because she need the money i don't care what y'all say I spoke, and that's what I'm keeping. I'm standing in my shit. But anyway, moving on from there. We got Tanya Portia. They give, you know, like I say, sent the evil eye bracelet and talked to her about how Kenya was just being totally disrespectful. Why she didn't stand up for herself. What the hell is going on? Portia says, Kenya just goes berserk about your brand. But she makes you... You know, you you know, if you sit and try to tear up her brand or talk about her hair brand, this, that, and third in a negative way, oh, she all over you. She going crazy, but then she know that uh, you have the 
a wine Bailey wine cellar thing. You sell wine. She trying. She trying to make you look stupid on 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 uh TV, and she trying to joke about it. And she just said, "I know Kenya. Kenya was joking. Y'all don't know her like I know." I'm like, "Girl, shut up. Listen to the women talking to you, cause you don't know what you're talking about." Uh, but then she tells the women, you know, Kenya. She would have been a little shady. And then once, I said, sister, you can let people talk you into anything. Girl, what do you feel? What do you know? What did you think about the situation? Don't hear they sigh. And don't uh, see them tearing Kenya down about what they felt she was doing. What did you feel? That's what we want to know. Like, damn. You, oh. I'm like, uh-uh. You don't receive. I'm tired of you receiving. So, saying I receive. I receive. You ain't in counseling, girl. You ain't in counseling. Don't tell me what you receive and what you don't receive. I'm tired of hearing that lingo, that language. Shit. No, you don't receive it. You don't get it. And you're just a pure mess. Okay, give me five more minutes. Thank you. Okay, then we got Nene. Uh, I'm trying to figure out why Nene ain't sleeping under her covers. You know, they, they did a pan shot of her laying down and all. I'm like, damn, Nene was drunk. She couldn't get under the sheets. Oh, my goodness. Maybe Greg one day or her lover one day. So, that's why she didn't want to get on the sheet. She didn't want to get on the sheets with herself. But, okay, moving on. Then all the women go to the vineyard and this, that, and the third. And uh, they're on this bus trip. And they were telling Marlo they had a nice little man for her to meet. And I'm like, they were just joking with Marlo. Because the man that they were, uh, were taking selfies of them out in the ocean. Now nah, he was somebody's grandpa. And he got half his, he got both his feet in the grave, honey. Marlo won't need that. And... Of course, uh, some more satanic stuff was rolling around there. Cynthia had her evil eye purse on it. Says now she got her evil eye bracelet so she'll keep all the spirits, bad spirits, negative spirits away from her. This, that, and the third. I like Cynthia, please. Okay. Uh, anyway, Marlo's 43. She's talking about she needs a partner. She don't need nobody. Don't have no money. Candy was just trying to throw hard digs into her. And then he was saying just love and respect is what you need from a man. Just that and third. But Candy was like, uh-uh. Todd had some hundreds of thousands by himself. He ain't had no millions. But with his gusto and his get up, we could make all me. I can't sit your ass down. You don't bother and pay for that man. And we don't need to hear nothing about you and Todd. And y'all getting it, getting it, getting it. Because if y'all were getting it, get your ass on off this show and do something else. Else, okay, that's what I want you to do, Cad. And you and Kenya both get your asses, get to going and do something else, okay? But anyway, that's not gonna happen because we know they need the show, okay? Then we're talking about uh, Nene. I agree with Nene when she was talking about you know, you don't give up your man just because one infidelity moment, you don't work on that man, you don't motor that man, that man, you're a damn that, fuck that. If that man don't fucked up, he can fuck up again and 10 more times down the road. No, get you a prenup. Get you, you know, y'all set some rules, some boundaries, somebody, you know, smashing on the side. And you didn't get them permission, whatever. It's time for the bounce, okay? And it ain't no sense you getting sick with AIDS and all this other thing going out here while they fooling around all the way time, around town. Thinking you're going to sit and you're going to be like, okay, I forgive. We're going to move on. Hey, I'm not going to forget the indiscretion. It ain't going to never go away. And shit, you might have gave me some. So, I got to get the hell out. I got to get you the hell out of the way from my face, okay? Out of my space and you got to go. So, women, don't take that shit. That's what men and some women be depending. On they still want to mess up, mess up, mess up, cheat, 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 and they know you're gonna take it. Don't take that shit. Get them something to think about. Leave their ass, okay? Leave their ass. You ain't got to divorce them, but leave them. Let them be out there out and by themselves and dry and see how they get it. And if you want to go back with them, fine. But me, I bounce, okay? Who you ain't got but one life, live it to the fullest. You don't need one that's a cheater, okay? But anyway, moving on. Uh, the other women get out to the wine, so this, that, and the third, or they get to the wine yard, they introduce things, Cynthia goes and asks a man a stupid-ass question about wine and how do you pr uh, price the most expensive wine. I'm like, Cynthia, 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 <sighs> did we not have this time about this wine issue and uh, can you make a complete fool of you about it? Let's just give it up. Uh, it's, let's not even talk about it no more. That's a dead issue, honey. Okay, then we got uh, Kenya, you know, people, uh, you know, was taken up for, I'm not taking up for Kenya, but Portia was taken up for Cynthia and telling the wine man that she got her own wine selling this, that, and the third, and the wine man said, so I know some people that I might throw you some business, you know, making Kenya look stupid, and Kenya look like she looked stupid, then Kenya gonna go try to buy Cynthia off and purchase some wine for her. And, and Candy was like, girl, that was a nice gesture, but you don't think you really had to do that. You just need to keep your damn mouth shut about, you know, trying to, you know, Candy was just throwing salt and all this kind of shit. Uh, let me see. Then we got Portia and Nene. They have a moment together. They forgive each other. 
Uh, Nene said she just going through a lot with Greg Cam's support. So she was going through a lot with depression and shit. So it just is what it is on that uh, part of the episode. Then we got the piece of resistance because there ain't nothing too much else happened. We got Candy ask Nene and Portia what they were talking about because she just knows it like that. And, you know, she wasn't going to let it go. So Portia pretty much told her they squashed it. Then you got Candy, uh, you know, trying to, you know, be a little salty because they were trying to take over their little party thing, her and Tanya. And hell, before we know it, Nene got into it. Start calling Kenya every kind of name out of the book. Can you start getting into it with her? Calling her every name of the book. And it was just shade everywhere, girl. It was just shade. People calling bitches and bullies and, you know, bipolar and go. Uh, can you talking about going back to jail? And they need to go back to jail. I just a, a bunch of Tom foolish shit. I'm like, uh uh. Who it need to be another cast, people? It need to be another cast. Cause I'm like, where we're afraid for back. Where we're Kim's over yet? Damn, give me another crew, okay? Cause I keep looking up this shit and can you run in her mouth? Somebody gonna get hurt. You know what I'm saying? Somebody gonna get hurt. All right. <coughs> but family, that's all I had, honey. Cause I was just too bit fit to be tied with damn Ke- Kenya and Nene. They all, they both got them. I got down there. I'm like, fight it out. Can we put y'all in the ring? And it's time for y'all to just throw blows. It's just time for y'all to throw blows. Even though I know Kenya, she'll run and leave and holler, I'm going to sue you. She'll holler, I'm going to sue you. That's what she'll do. You know what I'm saying? Touch me and I'll sue. I'm like, uh, uh-uh, I ain't still nothing mess. But anyway, fam, that's all I had for Real Housewives of Atlanta, season twelve, episode eighteen, a Greek tragedy and six act, honey. It was it was dead in the first act. How I, how I felt about it, you know what I'm saying? How I got down and reviewed it. But family, what say you about the Real Housewives of Atlanta tonight? What say you, family? What you felt about what you saw across your screen tonight? Not necessarily getting into my mood, my attitude of what I saw, but I want to know your perspective. Do you think we need another cast? Hell, I do. I think we need another cast because this cast is just bullshit. Cynthia need to be taken out. <sighs> Kenya definitely damn need to go. Uh, Candy, she should have been there. Oh, Nene need to be brought in as a guest here and there because she gives me some antics. Yes, she do. She give me something. You know what I'm saying? We can't write her off. I just need another crew. But that's all I got, y'all. Y'all get out in the comments. Tell me what y'all thought about the episode. Subject matter, not me. <laughs> Don't come for me. Okay, I might come back for you. Who how I'm feeling right now. But anyway, y'all be blessed. Y'all stay well, and I will see y'all next video. And don't forget to like, comment, and share the videos. Okay, good night.